Hey everybody, how you guys doing? It's Stephanie Stevens. I'm off tonight, so I thought I'd come on and talk to you guys live tonight. I'm actually writing more of my stand-up tonight. So you guys come on in. I want to just tell you about a funny story that my friend uh, just phoned me and um, told me this little story about something that happened to him tonight. So I'm going to put it in my stand-up. And I just wanted to run it by you guys just to see what you guys thought of what happened to him. I just want to know what people's input is. So when I'm writing tonight about it, I have a clear understanding of um, what not to put. Um, sometimes you have to be politically correct. So um, I want to talk to you guys about what happened to him and see what you guys thought about that. Okay? So I'll wait for you guys to come in. And I'm going to talk about my friend's experience um, and see what you guys think before I start writing tonight about putting it into my um, stand-up. Because I think it's funny as hell. And, um, and he doesn't really think it's funny, but it, it gave me an idea of lots of material <clears throat> I could use for my stand-up. Like I said, I'm Stephanie Stevens, and I'm off tonight, and I'm writing. So, um, and I'm a stand-up comedian, actor, drag queen, whatever you want to call me. As long as I'm getting paid, you call me what you want. Now, um, tonight, my friend says that um, something unexpectedly happened to him. He was visiting one of these institutions, one of these gay institutions. You know, we've all been to them. I mean, I can't go now because of certain things. But back in the days, we used to all, at one time or another, go to, um, I'll just say it, the bathhouses or the spas or um, those kind of places, you know, to hook up. Um, now everybody just hooks up online. But uh, I'm going to wait till a few more of you come in before I start telling you what happened to him tonight at the spa. And um, he couldn't wait to tell me, and he and he got mad at me and hung up the phone because I just it was so funny that um, I had to write about it because it would just make great stand up. But um, I just wanted to see what you guys would be, th what you guys feedback would be about his story at the bathhouse early on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, girls. Um, so uh, I'll wait till a few more of you come in. Hi, Christina. How are you? I miss you. How you doing? Girl, I am busy as hell. I know I haven't been over to that drink. How you doing? How's that doing? Are you still working there? Christina? Okay. Well, anyway, like I said, I'm Stephanie Stevens, and I'm going to tell you guys about the experience that my friend had tonight at the bathhouse. So, um, and I'm using, I'm writing some of that in my stand-up. As you guys know, I've done the weed tour. I've done the Mr. President stuff. You guys have responded very well, and I'm getting lots of bookings, so I'm blessed, and thank you. Um, so, but tonight, when he phoned me and talked to me about his experience of going to the spa, the bathhouse. Most of us call it the bathhouse. And um, something happened to him tonight, and I want to share it with you guys, and I'm going to write about it after I watch some of your opinions. Okay, I have my glasses on because, you know, I need them. But anyway, um, now, he told me that today he was feeling a little anxious about... Um, being alone, and he wanted to share his, sort of his time, and he, he needed some company. So he decided to go to the spa. Now, I don't know which one he went. He says he usually goes to the one that nobody else goes to, and there's mostly older men there. But tonight, he went to the spa, and he said he was walking around for a while, and um, the guys there were pretty much older, which is usually, you know, usual. And then, of course, late night after the bar is closed, you get a couple of young ones. But since he has to work early tomorrow, he says to me, I thought I'd go early. So now he said he's walked around for a while and the old men kept hitting on him. So he's just like, no, 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 leave me alone. 
So, you know, that's the typical thing with young people. Now, he said there was this one particular guy with a beard standing at the end of the hall. So he decided to follow the guy around the spa. Now, the guy went to his room, came out of his room. He said he was going to walk past his room, but the guy nudged him to go into the dark room. You know, where you want to have anonymous sex. Sometimes you go into the dark room. Now, he says that he actually went into the dark room with this person and he went into one of the cubicles. <laughs> now, now, you know, all those years of carrying on, I, me, I like to see who I'm messing around with. But anyway, thank God I don't have to worry about that anymore. But, um... Now, he went into the cubicle with this guy, and they're fooling around. And now my friend is more of a bottom. So if you're a lot of bottoms out of there, you're going to love this. So I don't want to tell too much of the story until a few more of you come in. Uh, so now he's in this cubicle at the spa with this guy, and they're kissing. And usually, you know, most of the time when gay men are in spas, the first thing they do is grab each other's members. I won't say those other things in there because I don't know if you can say that on Facebook Live. Um, and now, um, what was it? I'm nosy. Want to hear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, Christina. Oh, it's just, it's just about his experience, and I'm writing tonight about some stand-up for my show. So now the two of them are in this cubicle at the spa, kissing and preparing, I guess, to have sex. So my friend says to me that the person with the beard, the person that he was with, went downtown and was doing his business. So he said he was enjoying it and things were working well. But like I said, my friend is a hungry bottom. <laughs> She's a hungry bottom, that queen. But anyway, she says to me that she decided after a few minutes of him doing his business on him, um, he decided that he wanted to take his turn. So he just fell down there and he said that they were kissing and he didn't feel anything that was... He said he thought maybe the person was uncircumcised and they just weren't excited. Um, maybe because he maybe he wasn't his type and he just didn't have a heart on. So my friend says they continue to kiss. Next thing you know, the, the person that he's with goes down again and does his you know does his business on my friend. So my friend is, says he's enjoying himself, but now. He says he's frustrated because he really wants to take his turn um, doing something on the other guy. So, but before he can do that, the other guy turns around. And so now he takes, <laughs> I could not stop laughing. He takes his hard member and puts it between the person's leg from the back between their legs. So he says to me, <laughs> can I stop laughing, y'all? He says to me that he felt all of this hair, like the person, you know, usually most people shave or it's clean down there. I mean, some guys are like hair. So there's some guys that have hair. So he said he put his member between his legs and... <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh, y'all. He says that he felt like it was a woman. And he says it his member just went, went limp. Now, for me, going to a spa, first of all, um, I, I, I have never run into the situation. If you guys have run into the situation to where there's a cis man at the spa, now, um, to me, that was hilarious because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a trans man at the spa. I mean, back in the days when I went, I haven't been in the spa in years. But um, now, what would you guys do if you ran into a trans man at the spa and you didn't know? 
and then you went to hook up with them and they didn't tell you. Now, <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. So he said that since once he realized that this was not a male, I mean, well, for, as far as he's concerned, a male, um, and because he didn't have a, a penis, what should he do? I could not stop laughing. He said his penis went limp. He ran out of the steam room hollering. I mean, the dark room screaming. I said, <laughs> just like a Nelly Bottom. Um, but the fact that he said he was so upset about it that he walked around because he wanted to see the person in the shower and see the tea. He said, because when the person took their towel off in the dark room, they, they went right down on his member. So he's never really got to feel the front. <laughs> the way you would normally, you know, two guys are standing there messing around with each other. You would feel their member. Now, what, have you guys ever had that situation at a spa? where you went there and the person wasn't the gender you thought, even though they identified that way, you, they, and they didn't have the same as you. I would have just left and never told the story. <laughs> he, he phoned me to tell me I could, I was writing, I could not stop laughing. I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't know what to do if a person was trans a trans man and I'm at the spa and you were going down on me in the dark room. Now this is something we should all be talking about and um, <laughs> I'm sure some of you've experienced it because if my friend experienced it tonight that means that that person has been to the spa before. I mean because you would have to be very comfortable when you think going to a spa with nothing but gay, bisexual, straight men having sex with each other and you don't have a penis. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, but for me, I mean, if, mainly if you're a bottom and you're expecting that you're going to be hooking up with a man, what do you guys think? I mean, <laughs> when he told me that he ran out of hollering, I could not stop laughing because I thought, he said he went around into the light because he was so mad because he wanted to see what this person looked like because he couldn't believe that he actually got a heart on from a trans man. He says, mainly because he says in his mind he thought he was with a man. Now, what would you guys have done? Oh, you know, a lot of um, trans males love gay men over women. I wonder why that is. I mean, because Toronto is full of bottoms. These guys, the first thing they do is try to, you know, grab your your member and do their business, or they want you to top them and all this kind of stuff. I mean, but for, I mean, what would you have done? What would you guys do if you ran into that kind of situation at the spot? He actually said to me, that he went around into the light and he could see after he started really looking at him he could see the scars where the mammary glands were removed and then he realized looking at him really you could tell now for me i think that person should have told him that they were trans um in the first place before they went into the dark room what do you guys think I know it's probably embarrassing as hell to him. That would have been embarrassing to me. First of all, I wouldn't have been, I, I, I would, first of all, like you said, I would have ran out of there. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have been able to take it. I wouldn't have been able to take it. I just don't understand. Um, I would have said something to him too. I would have said, listen, you know, uh, I mean, as a gay man, I mean, you want a penis. I mean, the first thing we do is grab each other's penis. That's, and usually we start kissing a little bit. Then we, well, most gay men, they just grab your penis first to see if it's big. You know how these queens are. But um, 
I'm a trans woman and I don't ever keep it secret. Hello. <laughs> All right, Sheena. I always tell them. I think you should tell people because you can't be at the spa and you, you, the men don't know that you're a trans person. If you don't tell them, you're taking them into the dark room. And what what, what do you expect to, to, that's going to happen in the dark room that would normally happen in the light if you like the person? I don't understand why would you go to the spa, first of all, and second of all, not tell the person that you're hooking up with? I, it, it's, it's strange that you would go into a dark room and the first thing gay men do is either try to, you know, touch each other or, you know, have some kind of oral sex with each other. I just don't understand it. Now, not that... I think there's nothing wrong with being a trans man or a trans woman or any of that. But like us, trans women or cross-dressers, drag queens, men generally know they're coming to see a woman with a penis. And if not, we always usually make sure they understand that, whether we're hooking up or doing whatever else that we're doing. But for a trans man to be at a male spa, is kind of strange, wouldn't you think? I want a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brandy. How are you? Well, we're talking about my friend went to the spa tonight and he ran into a trans man and ended up having an encounter with a trans man and he's devastated because he. He, you know, he, it's, he, 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 he went down there and he, 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 he was shocked, I think. Um, that's a big reason for trans uh, murders is that not telling the person what the T is. Glad your friend was good. Good, good. Yeah, I'm glad that that is true. A lot of the girls don't tell the men that they're trans women. And that's why a lot of the, like you said, the murders happen and stuff like that. But it's the same thing with this trans man not telling the gay man uh, that they were trans. It, this was just not cool in the first place. And second of all, how do you have the courage? I mean, you've now taken, a, for me, that would be a really big step going into a male spa full of hundreds of gay men, bisexual, straight, wandering around looking for penis, and there you are. The, when we all know the spa is about men looking for men. And now, the interesting thing would be, is did this person actually have intercourse with any of the gay men in the spa without them knowing? Because, you know, sometimes we... Back in the days, we used to do things through glory holes. Can we say that on Facebook? Can we say glory holes? Hi, Andrew. We're talking about trans um, men at the spa. My friend had an experience tonight, and I'm, I was writing, so I wanted to um, get you guys' opinion on trans men being at a male spa, having sex with gay men, bisexuals, or straight, or whoever goes to the spas. Um, so he had an encounter and he's kind of devastated because I've been thinking on him all day about it. Um, <laughs> and uh, so now what do you do if you've actually, can you tell the difference when you're doing something through a glory hole or not? I know. <laughs> girl, I'm just telling you. Na um, Naima, hi girl, how are you? My friend told me that he was at the spa and there was a trans person there, a trans man there, and he ended up having sex with this person. Well, not all the way sex, but he was so shocked that the person was trans that he he just, he ran out hollering like a big old queen. You know how we can be sometimes. <laughs> Hi, Diamond. How are you? Yeah, we're talking about trans men at the spa. So, um, now... He didn't go, he went as far as kissing and sucking, you know, the, 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 the chest and rubbing and all that stuff. But he says that 
he didn't get down to the, um, he touched the private area and he thought something was strange because it wasn't getting hard and that it was kind of flaccid and he didn't understand. Um, I'm good, sweetie. I'm here explaining to them um, about my friend going to the spa and there was a trans man at the spa. So I think I'm going to do this on the Stephanie Stevens show. I'm going to try to see if I can find a trans man so we can talk about this on my show on YouTube. Um, but he was devastated that this trans person took him into the dark room and fooled around with him and didn't tell him that he, he was a trans person. Now, um, he said that he actually had to leave the spa because he was so nervous about the whole experience, even though at the beginning it was normal because he thought that the person that he was with was a guy. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to know, have you guys ever experienced that? Have you ever heard of any of your friends going to the spa and there was a trans man at the spa? Mm-hmm. Hi, Christopher James. We're talking about trans men at the spa, at a at a gay men's spa or bisexual, straight, whatever. A, a spa for men. And a trans person is at the spa and you don't know that the person is trans because they didn't tell you. And two, you end up having a little bit of an encounter with them without them still telling you even after the fact. So my friend says that he's all devastated and um, shocked. <laughs> and I've been laying into him all night about it because I'm writing about it because I want to use it in part of my show. So um, I think that it's quite funny, but I also think that it's not as fair to him to have been um, having sex with a person that didn't tell them that they were, even though they identify as male, their gender is female. Now, how do you um, get around that? So now he's at home devastated, and I'm calling him every five minutes because <laughs> I told him that he was touching the, mm -hmm, oh yes, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> So he can't, he's mad at me right now because I won't leave him alone about it. But he shouldn't have never told me now because he knows I'm a comedian, so I want to add that to my show. But in a, um, in a serious way, but an educational way. Um, contacts, Felix Jones on my Facebook. Okay, great. Thank you, Charles. Thank you very much. I mean, it's it. this is a good thing for us to understand as gay men or trans women, um, um, trans men, I mean, just as people in general, if we plan on having any kind of a relationship or we plan on having any kind of an encounter or a hookup, we need to know that the, the, the male that's coming to our house is actually male or they identify as male. Would you agree? Or am I stepping over the line with that? I just think that if I'm going to hook up with somebody, you need to be a man. And I understand that some people identify as men. But if you don't have the gender of a man, how does that work? And mainly at a spa. How does that work at a, at a, at a male spa? Mainly when you have to shower with other guys. How does that work? Hmm. An interesting conversation. I will contact Felix. Thank you so much, Charles. Um, I was just having this conversation tonight about this because I just found that it was interesting. So I'm going to add it to my stand-up. Um, not that it, well, boy, it's funny. It was funny to me when he was telling me because he says that when the guy turned around and he put his member between the person's legs. He says, just something didn't feel right um, as far as, you know, male to male. So then when he realized that the person wasn't male, <laughs> he told me he ran out hollering like a big old queen. <laughs> and I found that funny. But at least he wasn't rude to the person. But I do find that 
that person should have told him that they were a trans man. Um, because that is something we transsexuals, cross-dressers, drag queens deal with on a constant basis when we're hooking up with people or we're just trying to meet a man. We always let them know or we should let them know that you were born male. So I'm not here to say how people feel and what they identify as and what the pronoun is, but if I am at a male spa, I expect to be sleeping with a male that has a penis. And I have a, if, if I have a penis and you have a penis, we're on the same page. It's different, if, okay, if you identify as a trans man, you need to have a penis or you need to tell me that you are a trans man so I can decide whether I want to pursue the little hookup or whatever the, it is that you guys do in the spas. Um, it's just important that we let people know what our gender is when we're hooking up with strangers or we're just hooking up with people that might like us and, and don't quite know whether you're male or female. So this is something that's really important for us. This is why, thank you to, um, um, I forgot the girl's name that was on earlier, saying that trans women sometimes get murdered because they don't tell men that they are male, which is, we should always make sure people know what our gender is, whether or not we identify this way or we were born this way. To keep yourself safe, keep yourself in a safe environment. You don't go to places and sleep with people and you don't tell them what gender you are because we as human beings, we know what we like. If we go to a spa, we expect to see men and we expect to be with men not with men who identify as men and don't have a penis. Not that you don't have the right to be there. You have just as much right to be there as everybody else. But if I'm going to a spa as a gay male, a straight male, a bisexual male, and I'm looking to hook up with a man, you need to have a penis. I need to understand that. Don't take me into the dark room and and, and have your way with me. And then at the end, I find out that you are a, a trans man. This is not mine. You can't do that. But anyway, like I said, I was pushing my friend tonight because he was explaining the story to me. And he said he's at home devastated now drinking wine. <laughs> he said he's drinking wine because he can't get over the fact that he says he's never been with a biological woman in his life. And he says tonight he really needed someone. And this happened to him. So, um. He's devastated because he said that he needed somebody to be close to him and as a, as a male. So he is devastated, and I feel for him for that. So I'm just saying, if you're a trans woman, let people know what your gender is. Like, let them know, not what you identify as and how you feel. If you are taking a man home that don't know whether you're a man or a woman, you make sure they know so you stay safe. And then you always let somebody know where you're going. You don't just hop in a car with a strange man and invite somebody in your apartment that's strange that you don't let your, either your neighbor know that you're hooking up with somebody or you're, you, you know, you're just jump in the car with somebody. You let people know where you're going. And then you let the man know that you, whoever in the car you're with, that you, what gender you are before you hop in his car or wherever it is that you're hooking up. Come on, girls. Get it together. Okay, I know you, you're horny and you want to get down, but keep yourself safe. And two, trans men, don't be going to the spa, hooking up with gay men or bisexual or straight or whatever they are there without letting those guys know that you are a trans person. It's just as, you're just as wrong as the queens not telling people, the, I mean, I'm sorry, the trans women telling people that they're biologically was born male and they have a penis. So if the girls can do and let the guys know that they're biologically born male, you can let people know that you were born biologically female and you still have your 
female organs and you and you ladies you still have your male genitalia you should let guys know even though um, aesthetically you look female I know you ladies understand me now two <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at him y'all tonight when he told me that he ran out like a big old queen that was the most hilarious thing ever I heard in my life um, because he says in his mind it clicked so what do you do when when it clicks in your mind that you are now in a situation to where you're in the dark room and you realize that you're not with the right gender. The person is not the right gender. And you were used to going to the spa for years and you've always been with men. And now this situation has brought on a new meaning to you. How do you feel? How do you guys feel about that? Do you think that it's right for this person to have went to the spa and not let the guys know that they were female? I mean, were born female? Hi, Paul. How are you? I ain't seen you in a long time. Hi, Matt. We're talking about trans um, men going to male spas, to the spas. And my friend had an experience tonight, so he phoned me and told me about it. So I've been riding his back about it all night long because I said that he was in the cooch. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that on Facebook. But anyway, um, he had never, ever been with a woman in his life. So today was almost his first encounter without him even knowing. So um, I'm just trying to find out what everybody's opinion is about, do you think this trans person should have told this, my friend, before they dragged them into the dark room? I mean, I mean, when you're putting your member through a hole and there's just a warm spot on the other side, would you know the difference between a way the woman feels and the way a male's back feels? I don't know, a male's butt feels. Okay, I'll just say it like that. Can you say that on Facebook? I don't know. Sometimes, you know, they like banning people. So I'm trying not to say the typical things. But no, when you at a in, in the dark room, you want anonymous sex, and you stick your thing through a hole, and there's another guy in there, and whether he's orally or anally uh, taking it, would you know the difference if the person was a trans man on the other side? Would you know the difference? Hmm, that's something interesting to, to find out. I mean, it's kind of shocking. I mean, I, I don't think I could, I mean, I, I don't go to spas, but <clears throat> I don't think I could take that. Now, my friend is still devastated about it. Most definitely should have been talked about. I think it should have been talked about as well. I, first of all, I don't think that person should have... The dark room is, a, is an issue. It's an issue. But how do you deal with the encounter of you at the spa, like most gay men or bisexual straight men, sit there with the door open. Either they're, they're, they're laying there doing whatever they're doing, with trying to entice somebody to come into their room, or they're sitting there playing with their members to try to entice somebody. Now, how do you feel if you were to walk into someone's room and remove the towel, this person looks like a male, but you remove the towel and there's female parts. This is something that's kind of, we should, we all should, we should be talking about this for sure. Um, <clears throat> I don't know <clears throat> how, I mean, I know most gay men would run out like a big old queen and start shouting all over the place and acting weird. But um, <clears throat> my friend was very good about not outing the person at the spa. But he said that he had to actually leave because he couldn't take the, um, he couldn't take the fact that he had then went so far as almost to penetration to with someone that was a different gender than what he's used to. Now, <laughs> you know me, uh, being the comedian that I am, I <laughs> I asked him, I said, well, did you, well, he told me when he was, he decided that he wanted to do something orally on the person in the back, in, in, in the butt area. I'll just say that. Can you say that on Facebook? I don't know. They, they, they love banning you on Facebook. But anyway, 
He said, so when he was doing his oral services on this cis, I mean, on this trans man, that you naturally, most men would get a, an erection. He said he noticed that this person didn't get an erection and there was some kind of weird thing in the front. And he says he went to try to turn the person around and the person wouldn't turn around. Now, you know, most of the time, if you're going to play anally, the first thing you do is put your finger. Wouldn't you think that, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert at none of this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm... I do the same thing as everybody else, but uh, I'm not really a person that goes that kind of like that heavy unless I know you. Um, now, I have back in the days, but now I'm a different woman. But um, it just shocks me that this person did not tell my friend. And my friend is now devastated because that happened to him at the spa. So tonight's show, or tonight, just talking to you guys, I want just a little input on how you guys felt about a trans man being at a gay male spa, or bisexual, or straight, and you would go to the spa, and you would think most of the guys there are male. But there ends up being a trans man at the spa. How would you deal with it if you ran across this kind of a situation that my friend ran across? So that was what I wanted to talk about tonight because I thought it was very funny when they said he ran out like a sissy. <laughs> he went to holler and he said he had to leave because he was so disturbed. But I just feel, in closing, I just feel that the trans man should have told my friend. I don't think that he should have taken my friend into the dark room um, without letting my friend know that he wasn't aesthetically male even though he physically looked male because you know us or you know gay men the first thing they want is a penis or a butt so we all have butts but we all don't have penises so i don't think that he should have taken my friend in the room and <clears throat> without letting him know that he was aesthetically male so, I'm going to try to see if I can have a conversation on Stephanie Stevens' show on my YouTube channel so we can try to sort all this out and see how you guys feel. I mean, I don't know. I mean, most people probably would be embarrassed if they ran across it and they probably wouldn't want to talk about it. But I think this is something that we need to talk about now that it's happened to my friend. I never thought about those kind of things because I don't go to spas. But if I did go to the spa, for me... If I'm going to the spa as a gay male, I need to be with a man. And I need to be with a man that identifies as a man. So um, whether you're Nelly or Queenie or whatever, you need to be born with a penis if I'm a gay man looking for a man. Simple. Now, like I said, thank you guys so much. I hope I hope I was I hope I was okay with trying to, you know. Um, understand the situation but for me it was very funny because now I can go write about it um, for the show tonight so thank you guys so much for tuning in um, please share this video with some of the trans people um, or, or your tr the trans community so we can understand um, boundaries because I think there's some boundaries that were crossed here that probably shouldn't have been crossed in a sense I mean, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a trans man. So um, as far as, you know, living with a biological part as a female, um, I make sure that if I'm going to be hooking up with anybody, they understand that I was born male. I just think that that's fair. And that's why I've always been safe, because I make sure. Um, and for you ladies out there, you make sure that the guy you're hooking up with, he knows you were born male, regardless of how you feel and how you look. And you make sure that somebody always knows where you're going. Don't just be jumping into cars and going into people's apartments and stuff. That doesn't work. People are crazy today. But for the trans man that did that, you were wrong, I think, for not letting my friend know that you were born aesthetically a woman. That's just my opinion. So, I mean, and I've never heard of a trans man going into a male spa in the first place. So, I don't understand what it is that 
there's there's so much there's so much to learn here about <clears throat> the trans man. That's a very good subject. The trans man going to a a male spa. So this. This, oh my God, this makes great conversation. I mean, ooh, we got to get this going, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all pass this around. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I'm Stephanie Stevens. And this was just about me sharing my story of my friend going to a gay male spa or a bisexual or straight spa. Um, straight um, place, um, not straight place, a bathhouse um, to hook up with men. And they run into a trans uh, man without their knowledge. So, thank you guys so much, and good night. Everybody have a great Saturday night. I'm off tonight, so I'm just going to be watching my Gotham and um, Van Helsing on Netflix, because those are my shows. So, good night, everybody. Let's have this conversation again. So, you guys hit me up on Facebook. If you're in Toronto, it would be great to sit down and have a lovely conversation about this experience that my friend had. Um, and it'll also give me lots of material to put into my show. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'm Stephanie Stevens. Hey, TKO. Oh, my God. How my daughter doing? Hi, Terry. How are you? How's that horrible Whitby up there? TKO, yeah, we were talking about um, trans um, men going into... Um, the spas. My friend had an experience tonight. He shared it with me, so I'm sharing it with the world about um, his experience. So you go back and you listen to the story and see what you, what did you think and let me know what you think on it. It's good to see you. I want to talk to you because I might need some dancers. I'm thinking about doing one of these competitions maybe and um, I need to get down there to um, um, Chicago and see what's going on with, with them prelims. But anyway, um, I'm talking to you, TK. Okay. Hi, Terry. Good night, everybody. I'm saying good night. You guys can rerun the show and watch it. And please share this with the trans community so we can understand it. Share it with the gay men that go to the spas um, and also to the bars that have, you know, those dark areas. So we can understand sometimes things might be more of a surprise than what we think. I'd like to know if more people have run into this. That's this this is quite hilarious. Good night everybody and have a great Saturday night. I'm off to watch Gotham and Van Helsing. Good night. Mm, let me have a toast to y'all. Mm, that is so good. Ooh, black tea and vodka. Good night. <laughs>